Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, good morning. I uh, spent the first couple of hours in the morning getting myself prepared for the day and listening to what the Lord has to say, what He's sharing with me in the Spirit. And uh, then when I do, if I believe I'm being led to share something with you, I do. And that's, that's pretty much uh, how all of this comes about. I want to touch on a couple of things. Number one, I really see a, a, a desperate need right now for all of you who are spirit-filled to begin to find, amen, Jesus, these spirits, the spirits of darkness, to pray out to Father, to ask Him to bind these spirits in the name of Yeshua, okay? Because there are so many different little things that I'm being shown now uh, that are typical <coughs> of what spirits, okay, and principalities, what they do in the air, it, okay? And, and some of it, and I want to help you to see some of it, is like everything that's been going on between myself and others, for, and for you and between yourself and others, who in some ways you okay are in agreement but for some reason or other you don't we're not able to come into unity into one accord <coughs> i.e. <laughs> my sister Catherine uh, it, it has never been my desire that we be protagonists of one another. Never. And I don't believe that's been her desire. So if we eliminate the thought and intent of that being, that evil being in either one of our hearts, what is left? Powers and principalities of the air. And we need to learn to accept the truth regarding that and stop blaming one another for what we have not been able to come into agreement about. Because I don't believe that it's in the thought and intent of the heart of either Sister Catherine nor myself that these things have happened as they have. And I believe this is true of many of you in relationship to many others. And that the problem here is, is that a call to binding the spirits that keep the unity of the body of Christ from coming together as one needs to start to go forth. I was reminded also, amen, Jesus, as I shared with you the other day regarding my sister and the things and the activities that have been going on that. You have to remember these folks are unwittingly, because they haven't been awakened, spiritually speaking, Okay, they're believers in their hearts, but spiritually speaking, they have not been awakened, have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Uh, so, they're being led by the spirit of darkness and don't even know it. <clears throat> the reason I was reminded of this is the thought came across my mind, Amen, Jesus which was one of the avenues of which I could have said over the past four or five months without even having to be in my sister's home or sharing a conversation between her and my uh, brother-in-law at that time before he passed on was that <laughs> she's able to get on YouTube but she's not Emma Jesus and that's what I want to try to share with you one of the things that oh well just circumstantial, right? Just by coincidence, right? No. She herself has been led, okay, by, I believe, the spirit of darkness 
to keep her from being able to get a legitimate connection to the internet, internet, because then, okay, I could have said, well, Linda, just go on YouTube and follow the videos. Start following the videos that I've been sharing in your own time. You see, you, that flesh does not want to get nailed down. That's part of it too. But what's the flesh being led by? Okay? So just when you say one, and just because... See, many of you do not understand that the call to repentance of which we are receive the water baptism and our public witness of our faith, amen, Jesus, is not necessarily the time of which you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And that being John is the call to repentance, okay, unto the forgiveness of sin. Okay, that's stage one. You've got to get washed and cleansed by the Holy Spirit of God that you might enter into and walk in the kingdom of heaven as a citizen of the kingdom of heaven, that now the work and the will of the Father through the word of God, okay, in you and through you, might begin to transform you into the likeness of Jesus Christ. All of that does not begin until after you've received the baptism. One is just to call to repentance unto the remission of sin by faith. The process of that remission and the regeneration and the washing all of that is comes afterwards. And I've shared this with you before. To some it might come at the very moment of the symbolic water washing. But I don't think that's the I don't believe that's the majority of them. And I've shared that with you about the measure of faith. And why the Word of God would say that many have been blocked from entering in. Well, brothers and sisters, how is it that you get blocked from entering in? I tell you how it is that you get blocked from entering in. You do not sit underneath a spirit-filled minister who is teaching about the baptism of the Holy Spirit and how it is the entering into the kingdom of heaven of which, okay, that worship and regeneration takes place. So in their ministry, they are blocking the way for them who would enter in. It's in their hearts too. But they have not received the gospel of the kingdom of heaven. They've been receiving an earthly, natural gospel of good deeds and works. The natural man, the outer man. Amen? So I'm going to say something to her today about that, but I don't know if I will or not. A time is coming, amen, just as there's no doubt in my mind about that, which is another thing that was shared with me, and I, I've shared with you about these things in part before, relative to the ministry of which I believe I've been given. And that I believe is simply a forerunning of that ministry, which is going to be that all of the sons and daughters who come forth as the election of grace, the 144,000 spiritual Israel of okay, spiritual sons and daughters, amen, that, uh, praise God, they're going to come forth in and that together, in that banquet hall, the fullness. But that comes later. <coughs> that being what it is, I've shared with you before, that I often will take my laptop right out to the patio and have it be heard throughout the air. I, I, I will go in and take a shower, turn on my uh, laptop, because I want the, the walls and the ceilings and the floor and everything around me to have the gospel of the kingdom of heaven ministered to it. Same with putting it out on the laptop. So that the birds and the trees and the stones might all have the gospel of the kingdom of heaven ministered to them. And that being what it is, I've shared with you and I have kind of talked about it a little bit here in the last couple of videos how I believe that this internal word in the moving of the Holy Spirit upon those who are sensitive enough to receive and hear that still small voice and be obedient to it have been receiving this word in them might not have registered in their minds yet 
but it's been being absorbed into the inner man. <clears throat> and it will start to act upon the outer man. Because what was re I was reminded of and what I had shared with you about the fourth day, the fourth year, if by faith what I am have been believing is true about my having come out here and began at the Feast of Trumpets in September of 2011, okay, that three and a half years would also be what? The 1,290 days or 85 days of which the Spirit, the testimony, the witness goes forth. Now I believe that is spiritual first before it is in the natural that we actually see the witnesses, either the body of Christ, which I believe there is reason to believe that that is seen as Elijah, as the rising up of the body of Christ, the many-membered body, okay, of which we have a combination of these uh, measures of faith, which are all indicated in Zadok, the priesthood, okay, the Levitical priesthood of those who have been obedient but were not chosen, okay, and those who were disobedient, the bad fish, among the Levitical spirit field, okay, which is a type of the Levitical, okay, that are ended up being cast out, okay, representing Gideon's army. And then the wheat or the sheep who are awakened are as, uh, what's the other army? Gideon's. To the sons of Zadok, kings and priests, which also I'd like to share with you. I, I came in and I mentioned this. Uh, uh, oh, Father God. I had mentioned to you about the male and the female, and I've, all, I've been sharing with you right along who the daughters are. And I remember mentioning to you some videos ago how when the Word says that the sons and daughters are as kings and priests, many of us and myself for a long time looked at that thinking that we were both the kings and the priests when in fact in the literal, in the reality, what do we have with Moses and Aaron? Son, ruler, Moses, of an area, and Aaron is a priest in the house. So it's highly possible, and I, 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 I don't want to get too much into the natural because I'd rather stay in the spiritual, but that our ministries, amen, Jesus, represent the sons and the daughters, okay? And that, that we are kings and priests. I just like giving you these things to help to stir you up in your most holy faith, to come up a little higher in this uh, uh, spiritual mind. But then again, for those of you, unfortunately, who are really just getting into this, coming into this, maybe haven't really got a solid foundation on the uh, literal studying of the Word of God, I just want to warn you ahead of time that it is possible to get lifted up. I have said this uh, concerning 778J, Anna, and other ones who I believe have gotten lifted up and are off into areas where I do not believe they are fully prepared okay, to be at. And I'm not saying that a quick work cannot take place at this last hour. I have mentioned that is so. But I do not believe that that is the rule. That many may come into a quick work in the end time as ministers and as sons and daughters of God, but I do not believe that that is true of the General Assembly. And so when I speak, I am speaking now of the General Assembly, and that warning is to them, among them, who may not be called or chosen to be into any particular uh, position, but assume a position of the spirit of prophecy or the gift of prophecy, assuming the position of the gift of teacher, okay, Assuming these things without having actually come into them and mat been matured in the Spirit and have grown to the point where they can be used of by the Father in these things. 
to them I warn you, it is possible to over-spiritualize. Okay? And pretty soon, nothing is the literal, the manifestation. Because, amen, Jesus, without the manifestation, the witness, there's no witness to the truth. The truth of the spiritual, which is eternal, okay, is witnessed in the earth. And the literal word, okay, and the Spirit testifies to that truth of which actually manifests itself. So everything is not off all up into the spiritual. Because many, okay, unfortunately, and this is where, uh, I forget what they call that, replacement theology comes in at. They are wholly and solely convinced that everything is spiritual and absolutely nothing is literal. I've never shared that. I believe it's both. Spiritual and natural. That these are the two witnesses. Natural Israel and spiritual Israel. And I've also gone on to say that each one of them may have their own mouthpiece as trumpets, the two trumpets, representing the angels sit over him. Amen, Jesus. The mercy seat, but Praise God. I don't want to go to too many different areas and lose you. So anyway, the essence of this, uh, probably a short video, is to help to encourage you, I pray, that you begin to pray to bind these spirits around myself, that you might pray in prayer for me, and I might be in prayer for you, and that together we might collectively begin to be in prayer for one another, the body Okay, his body here on earth, spiritually speaking, the assembly. Okay, that we start to pray for them, that that the, that all of those uh, uh, spirits of darkness and the demons and whatever may be influencing and keeping us from coming into that one accord, into that unity, that we begin to come against them and bind them in the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. I pray that you begin to do that because I believe that what we need to begin to do and that's what I will begin to do because I've been if I share it with you I've been letting the spirit for myself first to begin to do that amen and I've told you that religiously but in all ways we acknowledge God so if I get on my hands and knees in the natural I acknowledge God if I in my heart have humbled been humbled and I'm on my knees as a servant before the throne of God continually spiritually speaking then, okay, that's prayer. Walking in prayer. Conscious contact. Communication. Fellowship. You may find yourself praying, speaking to God. I think prayer is communication to God. Okay? Four, five, eight, seven, ten times a day. And at that moment, you've been in prayer. And when you come into that, then at that moment, I ask that you remember to pray also. That the Father bind these spirits. The Holy Spirit come against them. That the angels of God be sent. Amen? So, um, praise God. I love you guys. The Lord be with you and bless you in Yeshua's name. Amen.